race day may be getting closer or maybe you're putting on more miles because you're actually enjoying running. Well, I have one more piece of wisdom and advice for you. Nutrition and hydration. Nutrition and hydration are equally important as strength building in the gym and also endurance training on the trail. A lot of people choose to ignore it because they consider it hard or some people are just ignorant and so they don't even know to address it. We want to give you a few pieces of advice to help you again boost your performance and boost your recovery so that you can continue to run. Your nutrition before, during, and after your run is actually what makes you stronger versus the act of running itself. Running itself is an endurance activity and it continues to break down your muscles and your cellular process. What you eat during this process actually helps build the muscle strength back up and also build the mitochondria, which is your little powerhouses in your cell. That way your body is ready for the next stressful event when you run the following week. Eating protein does two things. One, it stops the muscles from breaking down after running. Two, it actually helps the muscles build themselves back up and strengthen after running. So a secret for your performance is eat more protein. When, women, our best time to synthesize that protein is 30 minutes after we run. I know, I'm not hungry either, but try to drink a smoothie. Guys, you have three hours after you run for the same amount of protein synthesis. So utilize this, you're gonna see a difference. Hydration is a huge part of your nutrition. Do you know what happens when you start to actually get dehydrated? Your blood volume goes down, you sweat less, your blood starts to thicken up, your heart has to work harder because your blood's thickening up, your pulse goes up, your temperature goes up, and all of a sudden, you're not feeling very good on the trail or when you're running. Have you ever had a sip of your favorite sports drink and you felt like one, you wanted to puke, or two, you just your stomach started bloating? You know, it's really important to consider what you are drinking in order to hydrate versus how much you are drinking. Your body actually will absorb your water a whole lot better if it's mixed with specific types of sugars like glucose or sucrose. Potassium also helps those sugars and also helps some sodium content from getting back into your blood cells. So something simple that you can do, try a little maple syrup, try a little salt, Add that to your water and you have a natural rehydrating sports drink that won't make you sick.